How's it going, everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh KD, Lonely Hermit. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the semi. Why oh, am I? I'm completely forgetting how. How do I even do my? What am I? What am I doing? My intro is just. I just completely scored my intro. Anyways, we're in the Elite Battle League. It's a competitive draft league. We're in the semifinals right now. We're taking on Poke Pitch. We took him on in week two. It went well. I don't know if it's gonna go as well this time. I think Pitch is gonna bring a really great plan, uh, as he always does. Uh, but we have a plan. I am bringing the same team, and I know you guys might be like, "Oh my God, why are you doing the same team?" Well, first of all, actually, check out Pidge down in the description uh, alongside all the other coaches. I know a majority of them have been eliminated from the the season, but you should still check them out regardless. Um, but I know what you guys are thinking: Why are you bringing the same team? Um, I, that's exactly how you guys sound like to me. Uh, <laughs> I did switch up a few things. Um, like I said, the team is the same. Um, but I did switch up a few things, uh, specifically moves and a couple of sets, mainly the moves though, is what I switched up, um, just to try and throw Pidge off, just to th try to throw some new looks at him. But I still thought this was my best six against his team. Um, I still don't think trick room is his answer for me, but I do think he might try to chance it and bring it, which is fine. It actually will work out if he does that. Um, but regardless, we have a plan, um, and we're going to just rock it, see what happens. Um, sorry for that terrible, terrible intro, <laughs> but honestly, it's a win-win for me. Uh, if I, if I win, we move on to the championship. If I lose, Pidge moves on to the championship and I love Pidge to death. So, um, it's a win-win for me. I really don't care how this goes either way. <laughs> Again, it's another week where I'm just calm as heck. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and start searching. We're going to find Pidge and we're going to get right into this. All right, we have found the Pidge Meister. We found the Pidge Meister. I actually did mean to change my little avatar to Grookey because Grookey is my favorite of the three starters, but we'll leave it at Square Bunny, I guess. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> I'm not changing it. All right. Uh, sure, I'll decide. Uh, it is the first one. Single battle normal rules. So that'll level 50, 20 minute time limit. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick this. God, I hope everyone's right. <laughs> I double checked it right before I started searching. Uh, let's do let's do Rose Tower. Is that what the Rose's theme is? I'm assuming that's what Rose's theme is. Oh no, it's this one. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's see what his what he's gonna bring. If he doesn't bring Hattery, he's not bringing Choker. He brought Hattery and Jolteon. Okay, so they're new. The other four are the same. Uh, if my pen will work, Zama, Zenta, Soul, Galeo, Wishy Washy, Mud, Stale, Jolteon, Hattering. If he leads Jolteon, that's actually okay. Uh, we're gonna lead Derek. Derek the Mimikyu. I put uh, Lapras in the front just to try to throw him off, I guess. <laughs> just to make him think I was going to lead Lapras. Um, but we're going to go ahead and lead Mimikyu. And we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. Um, I will say, this is my second time in the semifinals. Last time didn't go too well, uh, <laughs> but uh, it is it is wishy washy. Okay. Okay. So he's gonna attack us right away. I'm kind of tempted, half tempted to switch to Lapras. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Half tempted. Uh, half tempted to switch to Lapras here. Half tempted to do this. And start setting up again, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. It's the semifinals. We're gonna go for it. He's gonna attack us. That's fine. We're gonna get off a sword dance. We outspeed, so I think I'm gonna go for a play rough and hope we don't miss. Because taking out a wishy washy early would be really nice. Really, really nice. Lowered our defense. Doesn't uh, that doesn't really matter too much. Like it does, but it doesn't. Because Mimikyu's defense really isn't fantastic to begin with. Um, I doubt a play rough kills, but I'd rather play rough than shadow sneak. What does he do here? Okay, we hit. Oh, wow. 
We lower its attack. We I don't think we take a hit though. Iron Tail. That's risky. I like it. That's risky and I like it. That is risky and I like it. Talk about risking it all. Wishy washy to Mimikyu. He didn't bring Ice Q. He brought Jolteon specifically for my I know he brought Jolteon for my Nessie. <laughs> I'm gonna give up Naganadel early. I'm gonna give up Naganadel early. Because I can't do this. Because if I curse, he's just going to switch to Jolteon. Which we have draw run for it, but still. Or. Ah, dang, this is a tough decision. Ah, this is a tough decision. No, we'll do this. I'm going to bait it. I'm going to bait the Jolteon switch. If he wants to stay in. If he wants to stay in. Do I, mm, I should have just gone into Ganado. Why would he? I should have just gone into Ganado. I should have just gone into Ganado. Does he see this coming and just switch? Or he has to. He has to switch. I feel like he has to switch. He has to switch. He doesn't. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. All right. That's that's really annoying. It's that's very, very, very annoying. I should have just gone into Ganado, dude. I should have. I should have. I could have got going. That's really stupid of me. I should have gone into Ganado. He's going to go to Jolteon. If he doesn't, I'm curious to see who he does go to. If he goes to Hatterene, I'm going to start cursing. Even though it might carry, I think it can carry Giga Dream. <laughs> I should have gone into Ganado. I just, I wanted to try and bait the Jolteon, but that's fine. Bruno is the horse. No, Bruno is the dog. Okay, that's fine, actually. That is actually okay. He probably CCs here. Or does he predict the switch? <gasps> no. Well, look. Mm. I need you for Mudsdale, honestly. Or do I? I'm gonna do this. Because I feel like he has to go for a close combat here. With, with Sendal Calavera. If he predicts, fantastic on his part. Work up. Work up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do I risk it for the biscuit? Do I risk it for the biscuit? Because a will o -Wisp shuts it down completely. A haze gets rid of everything, including its defense buff. Did we die? I don't think we died. To, it'll be close. I don't think we died to one hit. I have to haze. I have to haze. I have to haze. I have to get rid of him. He's going to crunch. Does that kill? No. Okay, we haze. We get rid of everything. That's fine. That's fine if Calavero goes down. We get Dauntless Shield. Okay. <laughs> I, it's, it's irrelevant now. I wish he would have attacked right away, but it's all good. That was smart in his part to click work up. But we're going to haze. Get rid of the defense buff. Get rid of the, you know, uh, attack boost. And then we're going to click Bulldoze, I think. Bulldoze runs free, so I mean, if he wants to switch for some reason. But we get the speed drop, and then Naganadel can come in. So if he wants to switch, he's more than welcome. Because the Bulldoze, again, kind of runs free on his team. The one, one Pokemon I don't want to see come out, I guess, would be Mudsdale. Because then it gets a stamina boost. But then, then yeah. Work up. Okay. That's fine. Bulldoze is going to lower his speed. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We lower his speed. We're gonna will wisp. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crunch. Okay. He gets his attack back up. Kills. <sighs> Do we let the doggos face off? The attack boost isn't there anymore. I could Dynamax you. I think an air slide. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna need a second here. I should be able to do this quickly. I need to be able to see if if, if I kill. Uh, uh, where's my Lapras? Zama. I'm stand drive. I'm stand drive. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to you. We're just gonna play rough. If he if he's baiting me out for the Soul Glail, that's fine. I have to I have to take this thing out. This is not the time to miss a player of Zashi. <laughs> if he switches to Soul Glail, good on him. Good on him. He should, honestly. He's making a big decision here. He with your. Who's he gonna go to? Oakum. Interesting. So he's gonna try and thunder wave me. Okay, we hit the player off, and that should kill. So Clean switch to either back into Zamazenta or Soul Glail. Spitfire, Soul Glail. Dude, Soul Glail shiny is so damn good. Holy. Holy. Um. Yeah, we'll do this. Does he set up an agility here? Does he set up an agility here? Sun still strike. I feel like he kind of has to attack. Agility. Okay. That's fine. So I think we're going to set up the reflect first. And then Thunder Wave. He's probably going to think we're going to uh, status. He probably thinks we're going to status. He Dynamaxes. <laughs> wow. That's big. Do we take one hit from this thing? Probably not. Not going to lie. Probably not. Max Mindstorm. We live. Rotom. Oh my goodness. We live. Rotom, you beautiful Pokemon. You beautiful Pokemon. Okay. We're gonna try. I mean, he's gonna hit us again. If he's smart, he'll set up in some way. I think. I think that'd be his best play. Max Mindstorm again. Okay. Sogaleo takes out. Uh, I think we go Nessie. I think we go Nessie here. And hit the hit the uh, screens. Hit the screens. I can't waste it. Uh, should I do that? Hmm. No unnecessary damage. Max guard. 
Max card. Keep it simple. And then we'll hit the resonance and I think a quake. Because the reflect is gonna keep uh reflect is gonna help us take hits. We can neutralize the Soul Glale. We just need to play our cards right. Sorry if I'm not talking as much. I'm just very focused. I'm also listening to music. <laughs> Max Steel Spike. He doesn't... Yeah, he's not able to get the defense buffs. Which is great. We're going to Resonance. And then Quake, me thinks. Or Quake and then Resonance. We'll Quake. We'll Quake. The Reflect is still up. Uh, yeah, Quake runs pretty free on his team. If he wants to go to Mudsdale, that's honestly okay for like the first turn or two. <laughs> and then it's not okay. Sunsteel Strike does absolutely jack. Holy hell. That did absolutely nothing. And I know what you're thinking. Why not just go for another Max Quake? Make sure uh, Soul Glaeo dies. I know, but... Setting up the Aurora Veil, honestly, is really nice because Lapras is a dang diddly darn tank. He does have us right now. He does have us. But setting up the Aurora Veil will be really, really nice. If he switches to Mudsdale, this is a huge prediction on our part. He's keeping Hatterene alive, which I don't like. I think it's going to be carrying something, maybe for Zashin or Naganado. Probably Naganado. He withdrew. Nusi Brown. Okay, so this is a big hit on this thing. This is gonna be a big hit on this. Does not kill, but the stamina is irrelevant now. The stamina is irrelevant now. And I think we have one more turn to reflect. Maybe. If not, the Aurora Veil is up. If not, the Aurora Veil is up. Okay, the Aurora Veil's up. That's fine. The Aurora Veil is is uh is still up, so we're good on that front. I could curse in front of this thing. I could curse in front of this thing. Cause it's I mean it's gonna be carrying an uh, an iron type. We could take one hit. I'm gonna curse. Protect. <laughs> it's happening again <laughs> i promise this was not the main game plan but if it happened it happened if it happened if that if that makes sense if it happened it happened you know what i mean he's gonna stall up the aurora veil for one turn which is fine um does it outspeed us now does it matter waterfall will kill waterfall will kill Hatterene is his only Pokemon left that can really do work against us. Like, against Lapras, because of the defense boost. So Lapras kills Mudsdale. We're not out of the woods, because, again, that Hatterene is still annoying. Zamazenta is still alive, of course. He needs to stall out the Aurora Veil, so I don't think he sends out Zamazenta yet. Okay, so that's Hatterene. Mm -mm -mm. Hatterene's really slow, so I don't know if it hits us first, even though we're minus one. We're gonna waterfall. This thing's probably carrying Giga Drain. Yeah, we do hit first. Okay. That thing is a bu 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 bulky, <laughs> but we're bulkier. Oh my god! Holy hell! I'm cursing again. That Aurora Veil is just godlike. Oh my god. <laughs> what does he do here? If he's carrying Trick Room, he can't click it. He can't. He has to attack again. I know we're going to take a little bit more damage after this turn because I think this is when the Aurora Veil ends. But... Healing Wish. So Galeo. So Galeo. So Galeo. 
I would assume. I mean, Zamazenta is not that weak. Like, it is, but it isn't. That's not a bad play on his part. That's not a bad play on his part. Not a bad play at all. But the problem is, I think both of his Pokemon left are physical. We'll see what Soul Glale is carrying. He had agility, a Sun Steel Strike. And it had a Psychic type move. I'm assuming maybe Zen Headbutt. And I'm assuming it was maybe carrying Crunch too. Or it's also carrying Trick Room again. <laughs> uh, we're going to draw Ren. Sun Steel Strike. That's not going to do much to us. It's not going to do much to us. I mean, it just still did a nice chunk. Sweet. So, Lapras kills... So Glale. Zamazenta could still pull this off, not gonna lie. Three minutes, three minutes, holy hell. Zamazenta can pull this off. We're gonna Avalanche because it's obviously gonna outspeed us. And Zamazenta might kill from this range. The problem is, for him, is that if he close combats, he'll be minus one defense. Or he'll be neutral defense. Work up, okay. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. You smart, beautiful bastard. <laughs> you smart, beautiful bastard. How much is this going to do? Nothing. This is going to kill now. Oh, dear. Mm. Ah, that might be game. That might be game. He works up again. How much is Waterfall going to do? That's game. If we don't kill with Lapras, that's game. That's game. I mean, we'll be speed tied, I guess, with Zashin. We'll come out to that. No. That's it. That's GG's, I think. We have to win the speed tie. We have to win the speed tie. We have to win the speed tie. That's it. That's GG's if we don't. We have to win the speed tie. This is why I wanted to bring quick attack too, man. We have to win the speed tie. I'm clicking Iron Head because we're going to kill from this range. We have to win the speed tie. If we don't win the speed tie, that's it. Hooey! That's why I said, I said, it's not going to be the same. It's not over. It's not. We have to win the speed tie. We have to win the speed tie. We lost. We lost. We lost the speed tie. Flip of the coin. It comes down to a flip of the coin. Oh, my God. I love it. If I'm going to lose, I'm, I'm okay with losing like this, dude. I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I should have seen the work up coming. I should have. That's on me. But holy hell. Crunch. That should kill. <laughs> oh my god! No, we did not just live a hit from a Zamazenta. Are you serious? Are you serious? We just lived a plus two hit from Zamazenta, Naganadel? What? <laughs> what? What? There's, that had to have been not fully invested in attack. There's no way we live that. What? That is the greatest battle I think that's ever been in the EBL. I don't care. I'm calling it. What? <laughs> I need a second. I need a second. I don't care. I just messed up my Elgato. I need a second. That might be the greatest battle ever, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that was it. I was I was happy to lose like that. It was okay. How the hell did we take that hit? How? I saw the way the health bar was moving in my head. I was like, no, no, there's no way. 
Yes, there was a way. What? Well, we're in the championship. <laughs> Holy, what a way to get into the championship. Holy hell, man. Pidge, that was freaking amazing, dude. That is the best battle. I'm, I'm sorry to anyone else I've ever battled. That is the greatest battle I've ever been a part of. That was incredible. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. All right, well, like I said, we're gonna be in the championship next week. GG's to Pidge. Um, obviously, again, check out his channel down below. Go subscribe to him and check out all the other competitors. Um, so we're either taking on the New York Matangs or the San Antonio Espers uh, in the championship. Uh, but I don't even care whether we win or not. The fact that we even got that far is enough for me. I didn't even know what to say. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. That was freaking awesome. Um, check out all the socials in the description. Check out all the links in the description. Go follow and subscribe if necessary. It's all greatly appreciated. And of course, be sure to share social with your friends, family, everyone you know, let the people know where it's at. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.